Hi everyone and welcome to another ETMN Creative Apps tutorial for the iPad. I'm Victoria Olson and today we're going to be taking a look at Sketch for annotating images. Once I get started with Sketch, I want to point you to that bottom little row of different menu items and what it will point us to is that we can annotate different kinds of things within Sketch. So we can annotate photos that are already on the camera roll, we can utilize the camera roll to take a new picture, we can annotate on a map, we can mark up a web page, or we can annotate straight onto a PDF. We can also just draw, oops, we can also just draw on a blank page and share our ideas that way as well. But what we're going to do today is I'm just going to mark up a photo today, and then we will be moving from that so that you can better understand how to use the app. You can apply it to all of those other places. Once again, this app can be used from K to 12, and it's a great teacher tool as well. So let's go to camera roll and we're going to pick that same picture that we used for the pic collage uh, setup that we did yesterday. And this is just the basic introduction of fractions where we're experimenting with denominators. And you'll see some toolbar, some tools pop up around this item. So on the very left hand side, once you tap on the color, you can actually choose the different color that you would like to annotate with. So in this case, I'm just going to keep with blue because that's fine with me. And then on the right side, you're going to see the different tools that we can use to annotate. So the auto, the automatic tool that comes up is an arrow, but there's also text shapes. Um, here there is different drawings that you can actually just draw. So I'm going to undo that. Um, and then there's stamps, emoticons, and then at the very top, there's a pixelate option. So the pixelate option is really helpful if you have student faces that, uh, that appear in photos where they do not have media release. And from there, you can actually share their photos on web pages if their faces are pixelated. So that's very helpful. So we're going to start with the arrow tool today. And just the basics, uh, wherever you pull the arrow from, and your destination where your finger ends up on the page is where the arrow is going to point. So I'm going to point to, let's just say, the blue. And, and if we want to move that arrow around, all we need to do is select it, grab it, and there's going to be some toggle tools that appear. Okay. If you want to delete your, your piece, you can always do so down here where the delete button is. So I'm going to point at the blue uh, M, M here, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch my tool. So now I want to add text so that I can describe what kind of M Ms we have here. When I tap anywhere on the screen, we will get a text box that appears. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to get, grab that keyboard and say that two out of five are blue. Again, when I'm done, I can press the done button at the top right. I can move this around. I can use that blue button to resize and then I can leave it where I want it. Now note that if I go outside of the border of the photo, what's going to happen is there's, they're going to expand the photo automatically for you. Once you move the text back outside, because it's really unnecessary for us to have that text outside to make the photo larger, we can make, we can, it'll crop back to its original position. Once again, at the very bottom, there is a delete button there. Uh, and we're going to play with a couple other tools. So here I'm going to actually grab the stamps and you'll see some stamps pop out and maybe in a specific image you want to call attention to something or you want to ask a question about something. So um, when we do that, we just have to take that stamp, tap in the screen, and then we would say, what about the orange? Maybe you need to describe the orange one, okay? So that's an option to provide stamps for students to call their attention to something. Um, I will show you the pixelate option really quickly. Uh, so we'll take the pixelate option and what we'll do is we need to actually select an area. So I need to select a square around what I want to pixelate and then I need to let go. And you'll see that pixelate automatically. So that's super helpful for students who might not have media release forms. And once again, you can pixelate a few times if you really would like to distort the image. It does get a little bit more distorted every time you pixelate. All right, let's go to the very top and we're going to explore some of the features. So at the very top, there is an undo button so I can undo my last actions. Um, I can also crop the actual image with the middle button. All right, I'm not going to do that. Um, and then the last one is some an option to clear all the annotations and start over or to rotate the image, which again, neither I don't want to do. And then at the top right is that universal share button, and I can share it any way I want. Uh, Sketch is a part of the Evernote family, so it will save as an Evernote link, but I can also save it to my camera roll or open it in another app. 
All right, so that's all we have for today for this ETMN tutorial on Skitch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please join us next time for our last and final uh, tutorial on creative apps for the iPad as we explore Apple's Keynote, one of the most elegant presentation tools ever made for the tablet device. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.